guys. I'm sorry if this vlog is kind of a weird angle. I can't really stand and hold the camera right now. I just wanted to kind of do this, um, not live update. It's the same day. You guys are seeing this the same day as my Echo. It's Tuesday. Um, my Echo is later, and I'll let you guys know what happened probably, hopefully, tomorrow. Before I went in, though, because <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Some of my friends, I think, not trying to, sorry. Not trying to scare me or anything. Just said, like, have you thought about if you need to go into the hospital for more testing based on your echo and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I should probably put a video out letting them know I'm alive. <laughs> um, I put my, our nursery tour video out last night, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, the day of my shower went so well. So, so, so well. Um, and it was awesome and amazing. And I swear you guys' prayers helped get me through so that I could have like an awesome shower. And it's like the morning of and the evening after the shower was awful. Like, and the rest of my days have been really Sorry, really awful. I felt really bad um, adjusting to this medication. I don't really think it's helping that much. Um, I see the cardiologist today with the echo. Um, and my blood pressure is insane. It will go from like, let's see, 110 over 62, which is low, not dangerously low for an average person. But like my OB told me early on, for somebody that has high blood pressure regularly and my medicine would keep me, I've been off medicine for a few weeks now because my blood pressure was getting too low, would keep me at 120 over 80. That's where I needed to stay for Jackson because that's how my body, my body like functions at that blood pressure regularly on medicine and going too low, too low for me could not be getting him enough oxygen. So that was pretty ish, but it's like, <laughs> I've been watching my blood pressure slowly go up to like pretty freaky things. Um, it barely has dropped my heart rate. And then there's times when I've taken my blood pressure that my heart rate's still over a hundred resting. So it's not going super well. I'm sure it's gonna be a process of trying to find a medicine that works well for me. I wanted to say that when you get pregnant and go through things, you know, people will tell you, I went through that, that's normal. And you'll, you'll think like, okay, that's normal. Um, and sometimes I feel like we need to listen to our gut. I wish I had of, I wish after the first week of monitoring, I had been like, obviously I didn't feel like I was having normal experiences. But then people would try to reassure me like, no, I was out of breath. No, my heart pounded a lot. You know, I had heart palpitations. And so you're just kind of like, oh, okay. But I should have listened to my gut and I feel like I should have told my OB I wanted to be seen sooner and I wanted to go to the cardiologist sooner. Um, that is one thing over the past couple days I've been like, I should have listened to my gut. Uh, I was kind of like in a dazed and Friday was kind of a crazy day. Um, there's more than just a really high resting heart rate for me that's been going on. Um, they said that there lo looked to be like there was fluid on my like chest, like heart area and lungs. Um, it's not just a high resting heart rate um, that's going on. My blood pressure spikes and crashes. It's, you know, the fainting, the cold sweats, the shakiness. Um, like I said, uh, there's other stuff going on in my body that we found out Friday that kind of makes them worry that it was the, <laughs> I'm gonna try to say this, peripartum carpomyopathy, probably just butchered that. Um, especially cause like fluid in your chest and on your heart and stuff can be a sign of heart failure, which is, is what can happen with that heart condition. 
So today is basically trying to confirm if that's what it is for sure with echocardiogram. So I just wanted to let you guys know because I hadn't talked about everything and I have, I'll talk about everything I went through once I know what's going on um, for sure. But um, it's not like I feel like people try to tell you you'll be okay. It's okay. And I'm sure I will be. I'm sure Jackson will be fine. And we're still hoping that it's just something going on that they can figure out and treat with medicine. And it's not that severe because really we won't know till after today. So we're still holding on to hope that it's not that. Um, you know, that was my OB sphere and that was the cardiologist sphere. But it's not been definitively diagnosed yet. Um, but I did want to let you guys know it was, it was a, it was a whole combination of things. And Friday when I was trying to tell you guys what was going on, I just didn't really get into it. And, um, anyway, so I just wanted to put out there that if you feel like in your gut, even though it, in, in not just pregnancy, anything, um, it's not worth it to, put aside something when you know in your gut things are right. And I've, I've known for a couple weeks something wasn't right. I knew that the way I was feeling and how bad like things were, I, I knew that like at night when I lay down or even when I'm sitting up, sometimes I felt like I was drowning. It's very, and I guess that's the fluid. It's very strange. Um, but anyways, if you feel like if anything, if your health, that something's not quite right, it's like, why put it off? Um, the worst that could happen is you're fine and it was something normal. So I just want to put that out there. And if you're pregnant and you're not feeling quite right, a lot of stuff can be similar to, you know, very serious conditions can mimic pregnancy symptoms. So I don't know. I just want to take a minute to say that. And I wanted to let you guys know, though, that I am alive, okay, um, for the most part. And today is um, my echo. And like I said, I'll put a video out tomorrow and let you guys know what ended up happening. Unless something crazy happens, like I end up in the hospital. I don't think that will happen. But, like, you know, somebody puts that seed in your mind and you're like, oh, shit. So I was like, I better put something out today just in case. Um, you know, hopefully that won't happen. But... There'll be a video tomorrow letting you guys know what happened. If you don't see a video tomorrow, then go to like my Facebook like page. Um, and if something crazy happened, like they put me in the hospital for more tests, and I'm not able to make a video, then I'll just let you guys know there and that I'm okay and stuff. Um, before I go, we got, I got a package um, in my PO box from Patricia and um, I've already opened it just cause it's really, I can't, I can't stand very long. I can not stand at the um, counter and do what we usually do. And Justin dropped it off and he went to work um, so that he could get a couple hours in before he comes back and gets me for my Echo. But I wanted to show you how cool this stuff is that she sent us. It's Organics. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's, it's so sweet. She sent all these products. So it's um, like organic. Um, cruelty free products and in this bag it's a um, wash like a body wash um, this is the dry skin balm um, I think you can put it anywhere face lips hands arms and um, then it looked like a little lipstick or lip, lipstick <laughs> chapstick I can't wait to use this stuff this is like so so sweet of her um it, it like honestly I like I almost cried I know it probably sounds silly but I I haven't been able to do any cruelty free videos recently I can't go shopping I can't find new products which is something I I absolutely love so for her to send me all this cool stuff to try it was just like, it was really sweet. I got a little, you know, I got a little emotional and I wanted to share with you guys. 
This is um, some laundry stuff. This is a stain remover. Oh, sorry, it's my phone. <laughs> Um, this I'm really excited about. These are um, soap fairies, kind of like a, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to like turn my phone off or I'm silent. Um, soap nuts. It's, it's, I, it's hard to explain. I've wanted to try these for so long. Um, I've heard so many good things about them. It, they like clean your laundry and stuff like that without um, any harsh chemicals and they get it clean. Um, they deodorize it and stuff, but they're super, super natural. I'm actually going to wash, now that I have this, the next time, um, I'm, cause we got a lot of clothes for our baby shower and I have a feeling we'll get some next weekend. So, um, this is what they look like. I'm going to, uh, wash his next load of clothes, um, cause I wash all Jackson's clothes as we get new clothes. I'm gonna try it out with uh, Jackson's clothes. So this is uh, brightens and whitens, um, softens hard water, removes buildup, funky odors for grease, stains, ink, olive oil, makeup, chocolate, and more. So I'm super excited to try out this kind of laundry detergent. Um, and then there is a another, oh cool, I got two chapsticks. I actually put one of these in my hospital bag too, so I have um, one in labor and delivery, one in my hospital bag. Hi, Ralphie. And then there's this. Um, this is the bleach alternative, which I'm really, really excited to try out. Um, it brightens and whitens, color safe, fragrance free, chlorine free. So I just wanted to take a minute to share that with you guys and thank Patricia so, so, so much for sending that to me. Like like I said, like it's been kind of, I've been really limited on being able to try new things, which is something I really enjoy. And especially, you know, the past almost month where I haven't been able to drive, it's honestly been really depressing um, to not be able to do my regular things. So when I got this package, I was just like, wow. Like, I don't know, it's like, Something I really enjoy is being, like I said, being able to try new things and for somebody to like send me all this amazing stuff to try out, I just thought it was so sweet. So again, Patricia, we want to say a big thank you so much and um, I will see you guys hopefully in a video tomorrow. Uh, just keep, we're keeping our fingers crossed, positive thoughts that they find something else wrong I know that sounds bad but it, you know like something besides the more serious condition that they think I have um yeah like I said even though both doctors are I don't want to say pretty close to convinced that I am this is what's going on I just we just have been like nope not until there is a final diagnosis and test where are we gonna stress about it so anyways um i will see you guys tomorrow like i said if for some reason a video hasn't come out let me put it this way a video hasn't come out by like 3 p.m just because if they put me on a new medicine sometimes it doesn't make me feel good and my sleeping's really off um if a video hasn't come out by like 3 p.m <laughs> then just check my facebook just in case but i'm sure it's gonna be fine and i'll see you guys then bye